The Dodgers have acquired Lance Lynn and Joe Kelly from the White Sox in exchange for pitching prospects Nick Nestrini, Jordan Leisure, as well as outfielder Trace Thompson, who was originally drafted by the White Sox in 2009. Before we get started, as always, if you could hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think about this trade. Let's have a conversation. It's, it's actually a very interesting one. Alrighty, starting off with Lance Lynn. This season has been quite a rough season, and it's further going along with this Dodgers narrative of picking up players who've quite actually like struggled this year, been you know among the league alert worst in areas, excuse me, and that goes with Lynn as well. He has a 6.47 ERA and 119 and two thirds innings pitched, 144 strikeouts, however, with a 1.462 WHIP. Lynn shows glimpses of excellence at times, like on uh, July 6th, where he went seven innings against the Blue Jays and struck out 11, or that 17 strikeout game he had early in the season against the Mariners. But ultimately, it's been the tale of giving up a bunch of games with seven runs, six runs, five runs, and just really inflating his ERA. However, in those games, he t he's a workhorse. He goes and eats innings for you guys. And for a Dodgers rotation that's still fairly young, they've had some more injuries this season, and then with the aging Kershaw, they tended to need another starting pitcher, and Lance Lynn, the veteran, is probably one of the better players they could go out for. His, in his career, he has a 3.71 ERA in 1,825 innings pitched, 1,859 strikeouts, and a 1.272 whip. Last season, he had a 3.99 ERA in 121 innings, and in 2021, he was an all-star where he put up a 2.69 ERA with 157 innings pitched. 2020 shortened season, he led the league in innings pitched and starts and had a 3.32 ERA in those 84 innings. In 2019, he finished fifth in the Cy Young voting and then sixth in uh, 2020 and third in 2021. So Lynn's only a couple years removed from those seasons and still has the, the stuff to go in there. And the Dodgers believe they can turn that around. Also going in this trade is reliever Joe Kelly, who's also, well, you guessed it, struggled this season. 4.97 ERA in 31 games, 29 innings pitched, 41 strikeouts, and a 1.310 whip. His whip's not too far off, only .06 off of his career average, but his ERA is an entire point higher than in his career. Kelly is going back to the Dodgers, where he found his last real success in 2021, where he had a 2.86 ERA in 44 innings. In 2021, 1-8 ERA in 10 innings. And then really in 2019, he struggled for the Dodgers. But we're going back to L.A. where he's he was his last success was. And he's a free agent after this year. And the Dodgers get another much-needed you know bullpen arm. Kelly in his career, 3-9-8 ERA with 713 strikeouts and 796 and two-thirds innings pitched. Now the return going over to Chicago. First up, we have right-handed pitcher Nick Nestrini. His scouting grades are a 65 fastball, 55 curve, 60 slider, 55 changeup, control of 45, or an overall of 50. This season in AA, he has a 403 ERA and 73 and two-thirds innings pitch. He's struck out 85, walk 37, and has a 1.40 whip. Going back to 2021 in, uh, with two teams with rookie ball and uh, Class A, he had a 193 ERA in 14 innings. And then last season with uh, A plus and double A at a 393 RA and 116 innings pitch. Mistrini operates about 94 to 96 with his fastball and touch 98. And scouts say that it's it's a big league fastball. So that's a very big pickup for the White Sox. Also going over to Chicago in this trade is Jordan Leisure. He's a 309 ERA and 35 innings pitched. He's pitched in 29 games with 56 strikeouts, 16 walks, and a 1.057 whip. He limits the hits. He does give up quite a fair, fair amount of walks, excuse me, but a 5.4 hits per nine is really solid, and 14.4 strikeouts per nine, so big, big strikeout stuffs. He's a reliever, 24, almost 25 years old. He's probably going to come up and impact the major league level shortly. And finally, we have Trace Thompson, the original draft pick by the White Sox, and brother of Clay Thompson of my favorite basketball team, the Golden State Warriors. This season, he's hitting 155 with five home runs, 14 RBI, 677 OPS, and for this career, he's hitting 216 with 44 bombs and a 732 OPS. Last season with LA, probably his best season in his career. 
in 74 games. He hit 268 with 13 home runs and a 901 OPS. And the White Sox, again, they're trading a bunch of people, probably going to see more moves from them. So Trace Thompson is going to be another outfielder that that's probably going to have a chance to play every day. One-year deal, again, um, he's arbitration eligible and a free agent in 2026. So, yeah, that's the trade. The Dodgers acquired Landon Kelly. Landon, of course, waives his no-trade clause to go to L.A. He had a full no-trade clause, or actually, no, a 10-team no-trade clause, I believe, excuse me. But, yeah, I mean, Lance Lynn, though his numbers are struggling, same with Joe Kelly, they had teams like the Rays, like the Rangers, that were interested in them. His underlying metrics, like his pitch stuff, is still really, really good. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Overall, I think that, for me, I think the White Sox are going to win this trade because you're getting the number nine prospect in the Dodgers organization. Um, I really like Nistrini. A lot of people are high on Nistrini for, you know, about above average contributor to the major league level. And I think for the White Sox, I mean, neither of these guys were doing great for you. They were, they were both blowing games. So to, so to get that and a solid reliever, I think that's really solid return. But I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the Dodgers, they can, they, they believe in themselves. They can turn these guys around. Overall grades, I'm going to give the White Sox an A minus. I uh, this is probably more than I thought you'd get for them. And for the Dodgers, I'll give you probably a B minus as well. I think that if you guys can turn Lynn around and help with the postseason push and get Joe Kelly back to the 2021 form, I think that your grade's gonna climb up a bunch. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe. Come back for more trade deadline videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.